Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be quiet because, like, there's people sleep. It's Friday and people are sleeping, girl. Calm down. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my freaking channel. Oh my God, it's been forever. I mean, life happened to me and it's okay. You know, some good things, some bad things some amazing things and I'm just learning how to live in the moment and enjoy my life as much as possible. This is how I achieve my faux hawk when I want to be cute but I don't have time to you know you know when I just don't have time. I just don't have time. It's super fun, it's super quick and it really doesn't take anything so all of the products that I use will be down below in the description box so yeah I really hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial and without further ado let's get into it I love you guys thank you for rocking with me and I'll talk to you soon bye okay so starting off my hair is clean and freshly washed and conditioned and for that I use my Nairobi I don't <laughs> I never know how to say these names or pronounce these names guys so I'm sorry my Nairobi detoxifying shampoo stuff is amazing and for conditioner I use my herbal essence hello hydration moisturizing conditioner this stuff is amazing as well I'm gonna go in with a leave-in conditioner and my absolute favorite my favorite brand period my hair care brand that I just absolutely adore is Nairobi I mean I use everything that they have so I'm using their soft finish leave-in conditioner and I'm going to Apply a generous amount and my hair was already damp after coming out of the shower so you want to make sure your hair is damp before you apply your leave-in conditioner and I'm just gonna moisturize my whole hair oh my gosh you can see my deodorant marks sorry <laughs> if you use this stuff you're gonna notice that when you comb it through it just glides like butter like this stuff is just Jesus in a bottle basically. So once that's applied, I'm going to go in and mold my hair. And I use the Nairobi Rapid Foaming Lotion. This stuff, y'all, oh my god. If you guys know Naja from like the River Salon, Naja as is, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. I butcher names horribly. She calls this her liquid relaxer and I couldn't agree more. This stuff is just absolutely incredible. And if you haven't had a perm in ages sometimes I can go months without getting a relaxer and I put this stuff on there and it just it looks like I got like the bomb relaxer <laughs> I don't really apply the foam until I comb my hair the way I want it to be molded so basically I'm just combing it forward and my hair is cut in a pixie cut of course alright so basically when it's all combed forward I just go in down and I have on makeup right now so I don't know how well this is gonna work but we just gonna pray and ask God to do us a little a little favor on today so once I have it pretty much on I just go in and this is how I'm doing the back I just go in and just kind of comb it down in the back and I never really look in the mirror for doing this part because I'm just so used to doing my hair in general it's even throughout my hair now right so now I'm just gonna go in and do the waves all right I'm coming at I hope you guys can see this this is hard I'm trying to film it on camera so I'm molding it now I'm gonna do my waves It has taken me two years to finally master the art of the wave. I kid you not. And I still don't even have it down the way I want it to be. But it's all good. Practice makes perfect. So if you're not good at the waving technique, girl, trust me. 
you are not alone because it took me forever. So I'm not going to do it around my whole head, just the sides. And maybe one day when I perfect it even more, I'll do a tutorial on how you get your waves. And I hope this tutorial is like 2800 minutes long. Alright, so once that side is done, you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're just basically going to comb some comb some hair to the middle and lay the other side. And since this is kind of like a mohawk look, a faux hawk look, I don't have a mohawk cut necessarily. Um, what's about to say? <laughs> you kind of want to shape your hair into a mohawk, if that makes any sense. Probably not, but whatever. <laughs> so we're just going to lay the other side. And the thing that I just absolutely love about short hair is the fact that you can be as messy as you want, as imperfect as you want, and it'll still look like you just slayed your hair for the guys. You know what I'm saying? So once that's finished, your sides are finished, you're just going to go ahead and comb your middle part down. And what I like to do is just kind of like get it all to the middle and make one last wave just like that and like I said it, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's molded to the point where it's easy to do once you come out of the gyre so after your hair is molded you're gonna go ahead and wrap it I use I think this thing is called like a mesh wrap thingy and I got it from my local beauty supply store. I think it was like $2 or something like that. And I don't really like using the papers just because I feel as though this does a better job at holding your hair down and in place while you're under the dryer. And it's reusable. So just go ahead and wrap that. I'm going to sit under the dryer for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back from under the dryer and my hair is completely dried all the way through. So now I'm going to go in and start to curl it.
with some moisturizer. This is Cantu Shea Butter Daily Oil Moisturizer. And I'm going to put a very, very, very tiny amount in my hand just because I hate a lot of product in my hair. So I'm going to rub it together and just go in to my hair. Kind of go in different directions and then make the front as messy as I want it to be. Like I said, short hair is better when it's not perfect. So just go in and make it as messy as you want kind of get those little your little wave your edges whatever and I kind of curl over my waves just because I think it gives a really soft pretty effect my iron keeps dropping and that's pretty much it it's simple it's easy it's quick it's fun and it'll look like you went to the shop, girl, but you didn't. Little fun fact about me, my head is crooked. <laughs> I don't know if it's my head or if it's just the fact that my haircut is a little lopsided, but thank you, Jesus, anyhow. I kind of like to tease it a little bit just to give it a little more volume. And then, Going with my brush, kind of make the front of it a little more neat. And that's it, girl.